size of this and it will begin a life that may last as long as 45 to 50 years. It's a pretty long time guys. After all, Tassie Devils only live five years in the wild. Kangaroos usually 10 to 15 years. Even the Wombats 10 to 15. So I mean, when we're looking at 45 to 50 years, they're doing something right, aren't they? So what are they doing right? First thing first, ladies and gentlemen, anyone ever been told by the doctor? Low blood pressure. Yes, I'm sure we all have. Ladies and gentlemen, low blood pressure. Well, that's certainly something which we have to try and often aspire to have. And kids naturally have that low blood pressure. But they also know how to keep it low. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the biggest problems for high blood pressure is stress. <laughs> we get stressed, don't we, about these little tiny things in life. A kidna, no better. A kidna, don't really stress about much. Well, first thing first, guys, the biggest stress for an animal, being eaten by another animal. <laughs> Quite stressful, understandable. Um, let's demonstrate why the echidna doesn't have to be stressed about eating by another animal. If I was to try and get hold of the echidna and pick it up, have a look at the first thing it does. It presents its spines, doesn't it? Let's try again. Uh, if I was to present my hand and try to get hold of Einstein here, the first thing he digs is in the ground and presents its spines. I've not got a hope of getting that out without getting a spine in my hand. Um, you don't have to run from your predator. Yeah. That's certainly a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. You got your armour on your back. So they become almost inedible to predators. Now, the second most stressful time in an animal's life, guys, is mating and breeding season. We all get pretty worked up about that as well, don't we? Uh, when an animal wants to mate and breed, guys, it's very competitive, it's very stressful. The devils bite each other constantly. It's not very nice. I'll tell you about that shortly if you haven't seen it already. Um, around mating breeding season, the stress levels go through the roof, but the echidna don't bother. The female lets out a smell, an odour into the air. Our boys come and take a whiff. One by one, they start to follow the back of the female. Now the boys all get that smell and one by one they join the back of a queue. At the front you have the female echidna with the longest queue ever recorded, 17 <laughs> males following one poor female. Now only one of them will get to mates, but the way in which they settle who is going to be the victor, not who is big, tough, mean and strong. One by one the echidna get bored, hungry and they drop off from the back of the queue. The final male at the back, the most patient of the boys, eventually gets the correct rights to mate. There you go, it takes all the stress out of it, doesn't it? Uh, we call it the echidna train, and ladies and gentlemen, 17 so far is the longest ever recorded. Pretty cool. Um, the final reason why echidna don't stress too much, guys, they don't have a strict territory. They're quite happy to live with each other. They're quite happy to live on their own. And because of that, no competition on where you live. They're able to live in Cradle Mountain where it snows. They're able to live down at Freshnail on the beaches. Mm -hmm. They're 